Hello everyone, Casey Casper with Dirt Rider here. Today we're at Glen Helen Raceway, testing a 2023 Gas Gas MC250F project bike built by Jay Clark. Jay, can you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, I, I'll tell you a lot about it. And it's a, as you know, this bike didn't get updated for 23 like the KTM and Husqvarna models. So this is the old generation, the kind of, a generation that we like a lot. And the only main problem that most of us have with it is the air fork. The air fork's pretty dang good for an air fork, but it's still an air fork. I like it in a, in a lot of conditions, but overall I would still choose a spring fork. And so that's one of the first things we did with this bike. I got a good deal on this bike. It was a B, B racer kid, put a lot of you know, hard hours on it, not very long. It only had like 30 hours on it. So, and they had the fresh plastic for it and, and some good pieces for it. So I said, I'll fix it up. And so, and I had these forks off a bike I'd sold. A lot of times when you sell a bike, you don't get that money back on that set of suspension. So it's better just to sell it with the stock suspension, what I found, because you don't get, you don't recoup that money. You're better off just to sell the forks on your own. In this case, I kept them and I was thinking about selling them and then I bought this bike. I'm like, hey, I'll just put them on here. Race Tech went through these forks for me and the shock and set it up for me right here. And for me, we talked a lot about this in the past about how I think for a lot of vet guys, a 250F is perfect, you know, for, especially if you're not aggressively racing um, and maybe you're, and if you do race, you're going to race say a place like Glen Helen here that maybe has longer motos. That 250F is so good at the end of the motos, especially for vet guys passing those guys, those 450 guys are all sitting down at the end of the motos. And that's what, that's what these, these 250Fs are so good at. And this thing, these, this KTM, we'll say platform, works so good. All we have to do is add that ECU. You know, Jamie at Twisted maps an ECU uh, for this bike and it runs amazing. It takes, there's just no hesitation, no bog, no giddy up, and it just gives it a little bit more power everywhere. We take the backfire screen out of the, we run a two stroke air filter cage. Um, the recluse torque drive clutch, not an auto clutch, but a torque drive, gives it the good bite out of the turns, the FMF pipe and silencer. Those are the main performance mods to the engine. We didn't take the engine open at all. Didn't go no, throw no big bore porting at it because it's going to be good, long lasting. We probably won't even have to, you can put a hundred hours on these things without even checking the valves typically. Uh, and so that's what I really like about these, these bikes. Um, and then, so I went to go ahead and made it look good. Um, Moto Seat made a seat cover to match our Decal Works graphics. Got us a really cool custom look. And we got the vented air box door. Uh, that gives it even more air than just that air filter case. So these things want air, as you know, they really like to breathe in uh, that air. Uh, we got some, uh, MX Champ makes some wheels and they got some wheels on here from them. Uh, got, got those Pro X chain and sprockets. We went up one tooth on the rear sprocket to a 52. Gives a little bit more bite out of the turns. These things run a 14 front and they got plenty of gearing. You can almost run a 53 on a stock bike. Uh, so 52 is a good good gearing there. And with our tires, we got the MX 14, which, which works amazing here at Glen Helen, especially up those hills. And up front, we have the Dunlop MX 3S uh, tire that's kind of going away, but it's still a really good tire that we like a lot. And on our controls, I really like the ODI uh, Emig V2 lock-on grips. Those, those are really cool. And then this bike does have the Brake Tech brakes, which are a lot better than in the past. And they're actually owned by Brembo now. Um, you have to run Brake Tech levers, you know, levers from there. So ASV has actually made levers to fit these uh, Brake Tech ones. You can't run the Brembo or Magura levers on them. So ASV has levers for those uh, that are adjustable and really cool. And I guess the only other performance mod I failed to mention is we got some T4 in here from VP to give it some, some really good bite. It'll run just fine on pump gas. Usually we will split it, uh, that kind of thing. Okay, so the radiators were pretty straight on this bike, but while the suspension was off, we went ahead and sent our radiators to ICW who strengthens them up. We, so we got that done. We got the CV4 cap from Wiseco, higher temp cap, so it'll hold, hold a little more pressure. And we retained the stock, uh, you know, cast clamps. I like the feel of that. I would like a rubber mount we talked about on there to reduce some vibration, but I like the cast clamp feel of less, you know, rigidity. We also have scar foot pegs. I like to get a good footprint there on the foot pegs. We also add the P3 skid plate just to give us more protection down there. And uh, as you can see, it came out looking really good. Uh, wasn't a ton of work because the bike was fairly clean, but made it look amazing and got a lot of good components on here. And I'm looking forward to riding this thing over the next few months. And I'm looking forward to you riding it right now at Glen Helen. The track looks amazing. we got good conditions out there. So hopefully uh, you enjoy it. If it rides half as good as it looks, I'm ready to throw a leg over it. Time to gear up and go ride.
we are back. Just got in from spinning some laps on the main track. GoPro footage, everything. Nice hot September day. The bike, not like stock at all. MC250, a lot of rev in stock form, a lot of soft bottom. Jay's bike with the FMF pipe, meaty back tire, one up on the sprocket. It pulls so good. Jamie at Twisted did a great job on the ECU. There's no loss in overrev, but the bottom end is cleaner. It picks up, it starts good. There's a lot more tunability with that ignition. That's the biggest thing. The stock bike does not have a map switch, so you can order the power parts, which gives you map one and map two, but it's just not the same. So if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, it's probably gonna be a toss up between the exhaust and the ECU. Obviously the T4 runs a lot cleaner than regular pump gas. Here in California, we have a lot of ethanol in our fuel, so it's always good to look into that for reliability and longevity. And the whole package just works smooth. The brakes aren't quite up to Brembo spec. The levers help for feel, but brake tech would need definitely a good bleed for me to be happy with it. The rotors from Tusk did a good job. Once they seated in, everything felt good there. It was just a little bit different sensation. Same thing with the clutch. The clutch is not quite Brembo actu <coughs> actuation. Overall, compared to the stock bike, if I were gonna ride one versus the other, I'd take this nine times out of 10. If you're a vet guy, this is your bike. The 250F is so much more forgiving than the 450. It's not quite a 350, but with the mods that Jay did that are really tasteful and fairly economical, anybody can do them. They're bolt-on, there's nothing super high-tech about it, and it's the best bike for a majority of riders. Jay and his son Spencer are basically 250, 350 only riders for a reason. They work really good and they don't punish you. If you have a longer moto, like Jay said earlier, after that 10 minute mark, this is the bike to be riding. The spring front end, so much better than the air forks. It's just night and day. The race tech <coughs> conversion, even though it wasn't for this bike and Jay had them off the shelf from another build, it shows you that you can piece together bike to bike to bike. And if you know what works and what you like, then it's plug and play for the next one. Overall, I wouldn't change a thing from the tires to the bars to the grips. ODI did a great job there. Good scar pegs, super fun bike to ride. I really like the MX-14 today, chasing outside lines, even though it's hot in summer in uh, SoCal, they worked awesome. And the 3S front, while it's still around, it's my favorite. The 34 is definitely better than the 33, but for that back tire, the matching pair is a good combination. That wraps it up here on this 2023 Gas Gas MC250F project bike. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you to Jay Clark for providing the bike. Thank you to Glen Helen Raceway. And if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one.